Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover Glavier's engraving upon the quality and grade of accessories, which was questioned for several times. If you haven't seen my videos about Glavier guys, I recommend you guys to watch that one first to understand this. Then let's find out. So most of you guys will be having 3 level 3 engravings or 4 level 3 if affordable when you reach 1415 which is the level for Vulcan normal mode. Uh, for the climax class engraving with specialization and swiftness, if you're going for 3 level 3 engravings, then I recommend a grudge and the keen blunt weapon and uh, climax, I mean whichever it will be called in NANU, is idealistic and if you're going for 4, then the 4th one will be mass increase and I think this will be better than cursed doll because I assume you will use lots of potions uh, in your first legion raid. And as I mentioned in the Glavier Guide Part 3, I strongly recommend you guys going for the Climax with Specialization and Swiftness build before you get the Rally accessories. I mean, it's okay to go for other two builds as well if once you get to the Rally accessories with at least full, uh, 4 of the th level 3 engravings. Because for other two builds like Climax with Crit and Specialization, and moderation with crit and swiftness build will not perform much with legendary accessories since these two builds need lots of stats and engravings as well. Well, it's not something that's not viable, but the first climax build is better than other two. Okay, so let's get back to the point. So most of the questions I got is like, will Keen Blunt Weapon and Mass Increase be viable even though you have less specialization from legendary accessories? Well, before the experiment, you guys need to know the stats upon the quality and the grade of accessories. So if you see here, I made a list of Relic accessories and legendary accessories based on the quality. Max means 100 quality and min means 0 quality. So let's go over to the relic ones first. If you see here, if you see the necklace, uh, five, 500 for each stats means max for the necklace and 300 for the each earrings and 200 for each uh, rings. And for for the minimum of stats, four, 400 for each of the stats are the minimum for the uh, relic uh, necklace and 240 for the each uh, earrings and 160 for each rings. If you go, if you see the legendary ones, the max is 450 each for the necklace and 270 for each earrings and 180 for the rings. And the minimum is 325 each for the necklace, 195 for each earrings, and lastly 130 for the each rings. So I'm gonna go for the experiment, uh, having the worst quality of legendary accessories to find out whether uh, going for mass increase or keen blunt weapon with low low specialization is viable or not. So um, definitely I'm gonna uh, go as a. Uh, uh, as meaning the specialization and and the uh, swiftness as a sub. So I'm gonna assume one of this uh, figure as swiftness and the other one as specialization and all others as specialization as well. That will be like swiftness will be 325 and specialization will be the sum of all other uh, figures which will be 975. Then let's do the experiment. So the first one we wanna find out is is keen blown weapon viable even by having a low specialization like this? And if you see the stats right here, I made up this stat uh, as the worst quality of the legendary accessories. And the, the one we want to find out is that when you switch over from the blue, I mean red stance to blue stance, you get the crit rate buff, right? And we want to find out if the crit rate reaches uh, over 60% because uh, as most of you guys already know, Keen Blunt Weapon is always compared to the, the Cursed Doll, uh, the one right here. This one, the Cursed Doll. Because uh, it's like this, if you have a crit rate over 60%, 
Kim Blunt weapon is better than Kerstall. If not, Kerstall is better than Kim Blunt. So uh, we want to find out if the crit rate reaches 60%. Then let's find out. So the stat is like this. And I'm going to trans transfer from the red stance to blue stance. And let's figure out the crit rate. The current crit rate in the red stance is this one. 0%. Perfect. Now if I switch over in the max gauge with this much specialization. It becomes 42.78%. Yeah. And you guys might say, wait, then it then that means King Blunt weapon is not good uh, as having a bad quality from the legendary accessories. But it's not right. You because if you see here, you guys have forgotten this skill, the party synergy skill, which gives you and your party uh, the 18% of crit rate for six seconds. And this is like something that's uh, mandatory to use before you go for all other DPS blue skills. So you have to include this one as well, which means, uh, let me refresh this, which means 42.87 plus 18% is over 60%, right? So that's how it works. It means it's viable uh, with uh, even with having worst quality of the of the legendary accessories. And also it is viable for the red stance because for this build, you're going to go for the guaranteed crit tripods for all the red skills. So even though it says it's 0% on crit rate, it's actually 100% which gets uh, you know high benefit from the keen blunt weapon. So keen blunt weapon is the best engraving as the third engraving uh, without any doubt. And unless you're suffering from a budget problem, I strongly recommend you guys to go for this one as a third engraving. And the next question, which is the last question to cover in this video, is will mass increase be viable with having a less specialization like this? So let's figure out. So the problem here is that uh, there is a penalty in mass increase, right? 10% of decrease from attack speed. And will the low specialization be possible to compensate uh, that uh, minus attack speed enough? Well, if you see here, my stats is like this, the, the worst stat as a legendary accessory set. And well, the blue stance gets the attack speed from the identity buff. You guys know that, right? If you've seen my previous videos. So let's switch it from the red stance to the blue stance. Okay, here I go. This is the attack speed. Well, currently we are at uh, under 100% because we have this uh, penalty from the uh, mass increase and we're in the red stance, right? Which doesn't increase the attack speed. If I change it to the blue stance, then it becomes 121.24%. So 121% is over half, right? Considering that the max is 140. And I think this is high enough uh, when it comes to Lost Ark because uh, you will not face any prob problems uh, with 121% of attack speed. And this attack speed is including the penalty from mass increase. So it's considered high and you will not face any problems. And of course, in the red stance, it doesn't give any attack uh, identity buff, which means you will just get the penalty from the mass increase like this under 100% of attack speed. But this will not matter that much. As I mentioned in the previous videos, you only use two red skills in this build. So uh, since that you don't have uh, you know many skills to use in the red skill, uh, you know this doesn't do much as often. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and please hit the subscribe if you liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.